Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have some cleaning motivation for you all. I'm going to share my morning cleaning routine. I'm also going to explain it some because this routine works so well. It saves so much time. You can definitely adapt it to your lifestyle, but I have found that this works amazingly well at keeping my house clean without spending all day doing it. Once I get up and get my workout clothes on, I make my bed. I do this every morning and it makes such a difference. Look how pretty that looks, so much better than an unmade bed. While I'm cleaning, I like to listen to audiobooks on Audible. You may have seen me smile a little bit or watched me laugh because I am listening to a book. And I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. You have probably heard me talk about Audible before, but in case you do not know, Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks, but they also have podcasts. You have access to daily news journals and so much more. And it's just a great way to listen and get things done. So it's very motivated. You can use your time to listen to books or podcasts or the news and get a lot of things done at the same time. So I really enjoy that. Right now, Audible is offering my viewers a free month of Audible. You get a free audiobook and unlimited access to Audible Original. So it's a really great thing. I will leave a link in my description box below, or you can go to audible.com slash how Jen does it or text how Jen does it to 500 500. I am currently listening to Dave Hollis's book, Get Out of Your Own Way. I love Dave Hollis, and if you don't know him, he is married to Rachel Hollis, and she is a best-selling author. Dave, I've been following on Instagram for a while. He's very genuine, very positive, and motivating, so his book is phenomenal. Each chapter of his book is based on a lie, so there are chapters like what worked before will always work, my work is who I am, and then he is very open and shares different struggles that he has and how he learned, and at the end of each chapter, he says what helped him. So it's really encouraging, very motivating, and very relatable. I also like to get a load of laundry going while I'm doing my other cleaning. Today I'm washing a light load of clothing. I've talked about how I do laundry before, but I usually do one load a day, five days a week. So my loads are light clothing, dark clothing, towels, sheets, and my cleaning cloth. I love these bags for bras and delicate clothing, and I'll link them below. I've shared them before on Instagram. They work really well. I've had mine for over a year, and they're still in great condition, and they really protect your clothing. Now I'm doing some zone cleaning, and you may have heard of zone cleaning from either me or Fly Lady. I believe it originated with Fly Lady. I got the concept years ago, and I've talked about it a lot on my channel. I do have videos of each zone and what I do in each zone, but basically zone cleaning is taking one zone in your home, say the master bedroom, and you work in that zone one week and you do deep cleaning and there are things that don't have to be done every single week so you can see I am dusting my chandelier and the high areas in my home one week will be the kitchen and I will do things like clean out the pantry maybe clean out the drawers you get the idea so things that don't have to be done every week but they still need to be done on a regular basis that's the basic idea of zone cleaning and it breaks it up so you don't feel overwhelmed. I usually spend about 15 to 20 minutes 
doing my zone cleaning Monday through Friday. So it works out really well and I'll link my playlist with the zone cleaning in my description box below. And I do get asked all the time what I use for high areas. We have high ceilings. So this is a Swiffer duster. I had a different one before, but you could not really wash it and get it really clean. So I bought this because you can use the duster refills and they do last a while. I use them usually more than once because they aren't all that dusty, but after a while they get pretty dusty and it's nice to just be able to toss them and get fresh new ones. Now I am dusting my lampshades. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know this is one of my favorite hacks. I'm using a lint roller and these work well on lampshades. If you have picture frames that have the velvety back to them, you know they get dusty, but if you try to wipe it, it kind of just smears the dust around. So I love using a lint roller. I also use them on these flowers here. I don't have a lot of artificial flowers, but I just have a few in our master bedroom. So I just use a lint roller and it picks up any dust that may be on there. I also use my lint roller on my fabric headboard. Mine doesn't get very dusty. Maybe it just doesn't show because it's gray, but even when I use the lint roller, it doesn't pick up a ton of dust. So I find that this works really well. Now I'm doing my cleaning task for the day, which is vacuuming. So rather than cleaning one room at a time, I do one cleaning task a day for the entire house. So today it is vacuuming. On Mondays, I do my dusting. On Tuesday, I clean my glass and mirrors. On Wednesday, I vacuum. On Thursday, I dust and mop the hardwood floors. On Friday, I clean the bathrooms and I wash our laundry room, which is also our mud room floor. On Saturday, I change the sheets and wash them. I spend about 15 to 30 minutes each day doing my cleaning tasks. Some take a little bit longer, like the glass and mirrors take about 15 minutes, but cleaning the bathrooms take a little bit longer. And I do this the same way every week. So I always start in the same spot and end in the same spot, work my way through the house in the same exact way. And so it's such a routine that it doesn't take me all that long. And because I do it every week, instead of waiting for things to get really dirty, it takes a lot less time and you have the benefit of having a very clean house. So it works out really well. And during this time, I make sure I don't get distracted with anything. I just stick to the task. I don't, you know, try to declutter a drawer or, you know, check social media or anything. I just get to it and get it done.
Also in the morning, I work out and then I jump in the shower and this is usually around lunchtime when I'm recording a video, it takes me a lot longer, but I usually get ready around lunchtime, eat lunch, clean up, and then I work on videos or whatever I have to do that day. I like to clean up the bathroom quickly after I get ready, just quickly wipe everything down. It doesn't have to be a, a super elaborate, you know, move everything off the counter um, kind of cleaning, just a really quick spot clean. I deep clean the bathrooms on Friday so they get a good cleaning then but it just makes it fresh and clean. I put everything away and then I vacuum the floor. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it motivating. Let me know what you plan to get done around your home today. And don't forget you can check out Audible. I'll have the link in my description box below or you can go to audible.com slash howgendoesit or text howgendoesit to 500 500.